CIET MCERT presents audiobook of environmental studies textbook for class 4 entitled looking around this is the chapter 9 changing families from page 66 to page 76 page 66 here are some pictures of families these are the families of Nimi, Tsering, and Nazli. Let us look at these pictures, talk about what we see and discuss. A new arrival. There is great excitement in Nimi's family. She has a new baby sister. Below this text we have two pictures. The first picture is of the Nimi's family before the arrival of her baby sister in the hospital. In the second picture, we also see the baby sister along with the other family members. Page 67 On top of this page, we have two pictures. In the first picture, the family is standing outside the hospital, ready to go back home. In the second picture, they have just arrived at home and everyone is feeling very joyous. Below the picture we have the text. Look at the pictures and write. Question. Who were the members of Nimmi's family before the arrival of her baby sister? Write your answer in the space provided. Question. How many members are there in Nimmi's family now? Write your answer in the blank space provided. Let us talk. Question. How do you think the lives of Nimmi's family members have changed after the arrival of the new baby? For example, how will Nimmi spend her day now? What new work will her mother do now? There will be a change in the daily work of Nimi's father, grandmother and uncle with the arrival of the new baby. Can you tell how? For the teacher. Give an opportunity to each child to share his or her experiences. Page 68 Question. Has a small brother or sister been born in your home? or in any house in your neighborhood? How does it feel to have a new baby at home? How have things changed at home with the new baby? Question. Find out all about the youngest child in your home or in the home of a relative. Then write, When was the baby born? Dash. Is the baby a boy or a girl? Dash. How are you related to him or her? Dash. Where was the baby born? Dash. Who does the baby look like? Dash. What is the color of his or her hair? Dash. What is the color of his or her eyes? Dash. Does the baby have any teeth? Dash. What do we feed the baby with? Dash. What is the baby's length? Dash. For the teacher. Encourage children to read their birth certificates and health cards. Page 69. How many hours a day does the baby sleep? Dash. What different sounds does the baby make? Dash. Who does the baby stay with most of the time? Dash. Stick a photograph of the baby or draw a picture in your notebook. New place. Sering's father received a letter from his office. The letter said that he was being promoted and would have to move to another city. 
we have two pictures below this text. In the first picture, Sering's father is receiving congratulations from his office staff for being promoted. In the second picture, he is giving this news to his family that he would have to move to another city. Below the picture we have the text. When Sering's father showed the letter to his family, how do you think the different members would have felt? Page 70 We have two pictures on top of the page. In the first picture, the family members are preparing for Sering's father to leave, packing things for him. In the second picture, we see Sering's family leaving his parents and boarding the train at a railway platform. Below the pictures, we have the text. Question. What will change in Sering's family after his father's transfer? For example, who from Sering's family will live with his father at the new place? Which school will Sering go to now? Will he have new friends? Has anybody in your family moved to a new place because of work? What do you feel about this change? Question. Is there anyone in your class or school who has come to your school from another place? If so, talk to him or her. Where has she or he come from? What was his or her old school like? What does he or she find different here? Does he or she like the change? Page 71 It's a wedding. There is great joy in Nuzli's home today. Her elder cousin brother is getting married. We have four pictures of the wedding here, in which different parts of the marriage ceremonies are being shown. We have four pictures on this page related to this wedding. In the first picture, Nazli is sitting alone with the bride. In the second picture, an elderly woman is interacting with the new bride and Nazli is seen smiling. In the third picture, the bride and the groom are being welcomed in their home. In the fourth picture, the entire family is having food and drinks and enjoying. Below the pictures we have the text. Let us talk. Do you think that there will be any change in Nazli's family after this wedding? What will change? Do you think there will be changes in the home from where the new bride has come? What kind of changes? Page 72 Talk to your mother and aunts in the family. Ask them about where they lived before they got married. Who were the members in their families then? Has anybody in your family been married recently? Who? Question. Talk to your classmates and write all about what happens during weddings in their families. Write your answer in the blank space provided. What kind of special food is cooked? Dash. What special clothes do the bride and bridegroom wear? Dash. What kinds of songs and dances are performed at weddings? Dash. What did you see at the wedding that you attended? Draw some pictures in your notebook. Then. Look at the pictures drawn by your classmates. We saw changes taking place in the families of Nimi, Sering and Nazli because of different reasons. Write down the reasons for these changes. In Nimi's family, write your answer in the blank space. In Sering's family, Write your answer in the blank space. Page 73 In Nazli's family, 
Write your answer in the blank space provided. Question. There can be many reasons for changes in families. Can you think of some more reasons? Write your answer in the blank space. Question. Talk to three old people. One from your family, one from your friend's family, and one from a family in your neighborhood. Ask them these questions and fill in the table. There is a table below this with four columns. The first column says question. The second column says your family. Third column, friend's family. Fourth column, neighbor's family. You have to fill in the three columns with the questions given in the first column. Question 1. Since how many years has your family been staying here? Question 2. Where did your family live before coming here? Question 3. How many members are there in your family today? Question 4. How many members were there in your family 10 years ago? For the teacher, changes are a part of life. However, children can be deeply affected by changes. It is important to be sensitive about this while discussing this topic. Page 74 Question Page 74 Question 5 What were the reasons for the changes in your family in the last 10 years? Question 6 How do you feel about all these changes? Question 7. What problems do you face with changes in technology? My family. Yesterday, today, tomorrow. All families change in some way or the other because of different reasons. Has your family changed too? When your grandmother and grandfather were children like you, was your family just like it is today? Do you remember the picture of Sitamma's family tree, which we saw in class 3? You had also drawn a family tree of your own family. Let us again draw the family tree of last year in your notebook. Ask your grandmother or grandfather how many members were there in their family when they were your age. Then, draw a family tree in your notebook of their family when they were young. Can you see yourself, your brother or your sister, your mother or your father anywhere in this family tree? Now, draw a family tree of your present family in your notebook. Can you see yourself anywhere in this family tree? Who are the members of your family today? Where are your grandparents? Page 75 Let us talk. Can you tell in what ways the family tree of your grandmother or grandfather in their childhood is different from your family tree today? Going back to school. Up to which class do you want to study? Dash. Up to which class have your parents studied? Dash. Till which class did your grandmother get a chance to study? Dash. At what age did your grandmother get married? Dash. Have you heard of a law that talks about the ages before which girls and boys must not get married? Dash. Write your answers in the blank spaces provided. There are many girls who get married before they are 18 years old. Many of them have to even leave school. There are many true stories of girls like Sushila of Ranga Reddy district who are going back to school. 
she also got the help of the panchayat. The panchayat said that young children should play and study and not be married off. A group of people of Andhra Pradesh holds special camps to help married girls to go back to school. Janagamma and Chitti say, We would like to study and stand on our own feet. Page 76 Find out and write. Question Are there any such children in your neighborhood who had to drop out of school? Do they want to go back to school? Write your answer in the blank space. Question What are they doing these days? Write your answer in the blank space. Question has anybody in your family got married recently? Who? Write your answer in the blank space. Question. What was the age of bride and the groom? Write your answer in the blank space provided. Question. What kind of dresses they wore? Bride, dash, groom, dash. Write your answer in the blank spaces. Question. What kind of dishes were there? Name them. We have some blank spaces here for you to write your answers. For the teacher. Teacher can discuss about children who cannot finish school and also the law on child marriage, which has strictly fixed the minimum age for marriage of girls at 18 and for boys at 21 years. The chapter 9 of total 27 chapters of the book ends here. Narrator, Gaurav Marva. Producer, Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET, NCERT, New Delhi, India.